Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. I'm Kai Wei, Business Development Dealer with Philip Futures. Today I will be talking about 2013's performance of the Henry Hub Natural Gas and the outlook next year for this commodity. Let's now review the year's performance for this commodity. For most of 2013, natural gas prices have been confined within the $3.10 to $4.25 range. Like other commodities, Gas prices are a function of market demand and supply. The combination of declining inventory trends earlier this year and the recent harsh winter conditions which had favoured heating demand has pushed 2013 gas prices to break out of this range. In fact, the February 2014 gas contract settled at a year high of $4.47 before Christmas cementing the commodity's yearly gain of close to 40% as well as its position as the best performing energy contract among the likes of the crude oil, heating oil and gasoline. These other contracts manage single digit percentage appreciation at best. Without a doubt, the natural gas market looks set to be the best performing commodity market in 2013 and thus raised this question. Will natural gas Stella's performance continue next year? In the near term, I see winter weather conditions continue to dominate headlines and temporarily support gas prices. Colder than expected conditions should continue to encourage heating demand as well as reducing supply with well heat freeze-offs. But once the heating season of November to March draws to an end, I expect the market will turn their attention onto the robust production outlook. A recently released annual report from the US Energy Information Administration has shown that gas production in 2012 had once again increased, with a significant portion of that gain from shale gas wells. And since 2005, shale gas has been the largest source of growth in the US natural gas supply, and hence, it is likely that gas supply will continue to expand on the back of growing shale production. Among various shale plays, gas productions have been heavily concentrated between the Marcellus Shale of Pennsylvania and West Virginia and also the Utica Shale of Ohio. According to EIE estimates, Marcellus Shale, the largest source of natural gas in the United States, will account for 18% of total U.S. natural gas production this month. Its December drilling re productivity report also estimated production gain of 419 million cubic feet per day from this shale play month over month. More importantly is the potential for strong production growth in this northeast region. There is currently a huge backlog of wells in Marcellus and Utica. Wells that have been drilled but are not producing due to lack of pipeline capacity. Several industry estimates of the Utica backlog could be around 400 wells and the Marcellus around 1,500. The gas market could see a surge in the region's 2014 production figures as more infrastructure projects to expand pipeline capacity begin operations. And once the heating season is over, seasonal demand will subside. As the demand, heating demand fades, the current uptrend in prices will be challenged as structural gas demand remains weak. In the EIA's Annual Energy Outlook 2013 report, industrial demand and power generation demand have been projected to modestly increase by an average of 0.5% and 0.8% per year respectively. Even after considering the minor benefit for gas demand due to coal plant retirements, Overall growth in demand for 2014 will only partially offset the growth in production. As supply growth outpaces demand growth, I expect gas prices to come under renewed pressure. Furthermore, another factor which is producer hedging will also limit upside risk. The commitment of trader statistics for the year of 2013 shows that net producer interest is most bearish when gas prices overshoot the $4.20 mark. This suggests that if prices remain or even live off from present levels, producers will likely sell more of the gas contract to lock in future profits. 
To conclude, recent weather has created the impression of a bullish gas market. Gas fundamentals, however, may remain bearish. Upside price appreciation remains limited, with gas prices skewed to the downside due to the growth in supply outpacing the growth in structural demand. Hence, I would prefer to sell the natural gas contract going into 2014, more specifically after January, when physical demand usually peaks. Gas prices should trade in a range of $3.10 to $4.90. The key risks to my bearish call will include point one, delay in the development of new infrastructure in Marcellus and Utica, and two, force major events like plant explosions, constraining gas production, and point three, prolonged bullish weather conditions during the second half of the heating season. You do look forward to Monday's weekly market watch. We want to hear from you. Any questions, any comments on Monday's topic, please drop them via Facebook and Twitter, hashtag talk to Philip. Thank you for watching this week's Market Watch. I'm Kaiwei from Philip Futures. Do tune in next week for more Market Watch videos.